Welcome everyone to Dr. Talks. Today we will be talking about few tips that can make your rank increase by multiple times. So, the first tip for all the aspirants who are preparing for NEET SS 2022 is that if you are preparing off time, that is, if you are working in your particular place and preparing side by side, I would suggest it is better to start preparing full time because it has got numerous advantages because you will have a large amount of time, you will have a large amount of energy, you will have a lot amount of uh, spare for your personal life, you can have a lot of time to balance the preparation as well as the examination. So if you are preparing uh, for the examination wholeheartedly and if you want to make a mark in this examination, I would suggest it will be helpful for you if you try to quit your job for uh, perhaps one or two months and the examination is over. This will drastically improve your marks. The second tip I would like to give all of you is that you all should have a boundary. Whether it's a boundary, I mean it should be a boundary of the topics you need to cover. It should include all the high yield topics, all the repeated topics and you should uh, be reading them in a concentrated fashion. So it should have the concentrated form of all the high yield points and you should not have agreed to go outside this topic. It is more like covering the boundary again and again. You know, rather than going uh, blindly, you should have a set boundary and you should cover it uh, multiple times in order to be stronger with a few points of the particular topic. What it would do is that it will help you to exclude options in the examination. You have, uh, when you know all the highly points about a particular topic, it, if the particular uh, topic comes in an option in a person, you can definitely rule uh, that option in or out. So, just having a concentrated knowledge of a particular topic will help you rule out options better. So, uh, what I am saying is stick to one source and uh, do it religiously. Whatever be the source, it, it should be one source, it should be done religiously, it should be covered multiple times. That way, you can uh, explore options very easily. Third tip I would try to give you is that you should include large number of mock tests. A mock test I mean uh, and, and a lot of uh, the applications will have an R&D free mock test. You can give that mock test an option. So the, I mean uh, if you try it you will know where you stand amongst the nation and where your weak areas are. That is a goal mine because when you give a grand test you will know areas in which you are weak. You will definitely go around in a lot of options. Uh, those wrong options may be because of two reasons. It may be because one, you know, don't know the fact, or second, it because you may be knowing a concept wrongly. And you will also know that topics which in which you are weak. So you will have to make a list of topics that you are going wrong, and you should prepare uh, those topics in a concentrated fashion. Uh, because uh, rather than going on reading the topics you know again and again, you will have to pinpoint the topics where you are weak and focus them and this giving this grant test helps in identifying these minor topics which may we may miss uh, during our uh, cross preparation. So uh, give grant test, know your rank or India level, know your weak areas and uh, work on those weak areas in order to get a better rank. The other tip uh, which I would like to share is uh, in boredom, we are preparing the last period of in last few months, we invariably we get bored when preparing and uh, we may lose one or two days to it. To avoid this boredom, I would suggest is that have multiple methods of preparation, not, not honestly just solving the questions or just training the theory. It, are, uh, it should be a mix of uh, the uh, many methods. When you get bored with solving the questions, go back and read the, those weak areas topics. Just go back and read the theory. When you are not uh, in a good mood to read the theory, you can go back to the MCQs. When you are very bored, nothing uh, active you can do, then that time you can go and watch those high level videos at a 2x or 2.5x high speed. In that way you can consume knowledge. If nothing works, you can just go on to make notes. That's, that's what I would say. From the topics which you are weak, you can just listen and take no notes. So this way, you have to keep walking forwards, it, whatever be the method. Uh, to avoid this monotony, you could change your method of preparation and continue forward. This is what I would suggest. The other tip is that you should 
give ultimate importance to consistency. In this preparation, the next 45 days, there will be days when you get slump, I mean you would prepare a little less and there will be days when you will be filled with motivation and you would do 12 hours, 13 hours. When what I would say is that it is your result is an average of all your work. So by average I mean you have 45 days of preparation uh, and for the examination. You, you have to time about 450 hours, 10 hours a day. Some days you can uh, do 12, some days you can do 8. It should, but the mean average should be around 10. And that is the amount of preparation, whatever source you can use, that is the uh, mathematical preparation that you can make. So use that preparation. We keep it as consistent as possible. Keep it 10 hours every day. So in that way, if you get a bad day, make sure you compensate for it the next day. Keep the weekly average as a target and reach it every single week. And, uh, that is very important because this consistency is what ultimately is going to give you a better results. The other tip I would like to share is that having a positive frame of mind. This is very important because this is the stage when a lot of us get bored and depressed. They are they what the hell mean after doing so much of MBBS post graduation, coming up, sitting again for three more months of preparation, then doing a three more months of super specialities are needed, all these questions, all these doubts keep popping up in your mind. So this time you have to make it I mean, a priority. You know this examination you have decided that you are going to prepare. So give it your best. You will have to keep your positive frame of mind. By, you will have to track your progress. You know this day I have made like 7 hours of preparation. Just track it. I used to use this forest app. Uh, that I mean uh, that used to time the hours of preparation no? and you will see a forest grow uh, in, uh, it's available in almost like any software, I mean, any mobiles or iPads you can use that app for preparation and you can time your uh, hours of preparation the other thing you can do is that you can write down the topics you have completed like every day uh, and the, you should make a separate notebook write down the topics you have completed so when you have got bored and you feel like you are not prepared well you can just look back at it and you will know that you have prepared for a lot number of topics so that is important the other thing is that you should keep the ambience you know the ambience to study room as pleasant as possible you should uh, get refreshments you know you should have some challenge you know give you some challenge and try to reach a challenge and uh, have that motivation going you know that will definitely help you and other thing you can make is uh, you can discuss with your friends you know uh, you have a lot of peers who are preparing at the same mindset you can discuss with them you can discuss the common mistakes that you can share those those things will help you get out of the slump and also it is important that you forgive yourself you know invariably you will all, you will all have our bad days so it is it's not very it is important just not to give it too much of importance that okay I didn't do well you know I mean going into the negative thought process you have to consciously switch it up to a positive framework so ultimately it is just 45 days so maximum of 44 50 hours of preparation so just keep in your mind these 450 hours you will have to use it as smart as possible uh, the concept, you will have to have a concentrated knowledge that is what is uh, more important in this topic just because it's in a broad special as of now uh, you will have to have a wide area of coverage so choose whatever notes you want even if it's a PG entrance level notes even that is okay you can have that as a base just clear it uh, do it multiple times you know you will have to have a broad knowledge you have to have the ability to rule out multiple options so keep that in mind and uh, prepare as best as you can in the last 45 days and uh, go on and crack your exam.